When you're working with designs, it can very easily be a problem when you've got darker colors being used, especially if you have a darker background and you want to keep a consistent color palette. Well, in this video, I want to show you exactly how you could address that problem and how we can approach it in a very simple fashion. Before we do, though, let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about so I can illustrate the problem we have. As you can see here, we've got our light mode and we've got this sort of dark blue text and also a dark blue button. On this background, it works perfectly fine. Even if the person that was reading it couldn't see the difference in the colors, they would still easily be able to see the difference because the contrast between the text of the background is really quite high. However, if we switch over to a dark design, suddenly it's not quite as easy to see. You can see our blue would easily be missed. The same thing goes for the button. So we could have a problem there. So how do we address it? Well, we also need to change the color, but we want to retain our color palette because if we're working with company colors, the last thing you want to do is change something completely. So we need to have a way of addressing it. How do we do it? Let me show you. Now, for this example, I'm using Core Framework because this is a CSS framework that I use for my designs. However, you can use any tool that allows you to adjust colors using the technique I want to show you. That could be Photoshop, Pixelmator Pro. You could even use online tools that allow you to select color palettes. Doesn't matter what you use, the technique is more important than the tool. So what we've got here is this is our primary color. And as we've seen, this works fine on the light background, has a problem on the darker background. So we need to create a variation, but keeping the same color palette. To do that, we're going to open this up and we're going to enable the dark mode option. Now you can see that as in a second color chip to our primary colors. In this example, that would be almost black, so it would be lost completely. So we need to change it. So the easiest thing to do is make sure we're working in HSL mode, hue, saturation, and lightness. There's lots of different modes you can work with when it comes to color. We're going to use the HSL. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the second color chip and from there, we're going to address the lightness channel. The hue would change the colors. The saturation would change the amount of color included. So we go from really saturated to black. However, the lightness will retain the same color value, but it'll just create a lighter variation. So it keeps within that same color palette. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this lightness slider, pull that up until we get to a color we think is going to give us good contrast. Obviously, there's lots of ways you can check this, but this is going to be a nice kind of variation on a dark background. So we've kept the same color, we just created a lighter version of it. So our color palette will stay the same. So now we can hit Save Changes, head back over to our site. As you can see in light mode, that same dark color is there and looks great. Switch over to dark mode, and now we have a lighter variation of that same color. So you see now that stands out and gives us much better contrast. We can see the text inside the button, the subheading section stands out nicely, and everything looks good. So that's the way I would recommend you approach it. If you have a specific color palette and they haven't addressed light and dark variations, then you can use this using the lightness mode, adjust that lightness, lightness so you keep the same color value. We just have a lighter variation of it, so it sits inside that same color palette without any issues. Hopefully you've learned something new here. Hopefully this has given you an insight into how you can work with color. If you have, let me know down below. If you want to learn more about working with web design, bricks and core framework and so on, check out this playlist next. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.